Victory over St Johnston last weekend put Hibs top of the Premier table for the first time in 18 years. They followed that up by securing a place in the League Cup final. All in all, it's been a great start to the season by the Easter Road Club. Much of the success can be put down to the three new arrivals. Jim Layton, whose forms prompted a series of suggestions of an international recall. Kevin McAllister, whose five goals to date have helped earn Hibbs vital points. And Michael O'Neill, who has long been admired by Alex Miller. The three signings we made in the summer have definitely helped the Hibbs team. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Pat McGinley. Uh, Pat playing within the squad of players would have, would have been great for us, but uh, we lost Pat and uh, we replaced them with uh, McAllister and O'Neill and, and Jim Layton. They both uh, McAllister and O'Neill give us width um, either side of the park. And Jim Layton has done really well in the sense that um, he's given us stability within the defence and uh, all the defenders realise that he's a good goalkeeper. Kevin McAllister was giving you goals. Did you expect as many so quickly? Well, I've told Kevin that I want to try and... I think he scored 11 two seasons ago, and uh, you set them targets, and we want to try and beat that. Then I believe that uh, if you're playing from a wide area, then you've got to make positive runs, and I think Kevin's doing that at the moment, and he's getting the, the joy with scoring the goals. I, I mean, I think I've only had about six or seven shots, and five of them have went in. So it's just a wee, wee spell I'm going through. I mean, last year, I mean, I couldn't have bought a goal. But this year they seem to be going in, so as long as it continues, like. Miller was keen to buy Michael O'Neill from Newcastle, but couldn't compete financially with Dundee United. At last, though, he's got his man. Like McAllister, O'Neill gives Hibbs width, but he's a different type of player. Michael's a bit more of a passer, but he can also, he's not maybe as much as a goal threat as Kevin, but he's definitely a, a, a very good player. And I think uh, he's got a very big future in the game. He's got 24 caps at the moment. But uh, to me, Michael O'Neill gives us balance. He's two-footed, he can go either side, and uh, he's done exceptionally well. I'm a lot more relaxed probably than I've been for a long time. Alec Miller's just basically every week telling me to go out and play and enjoy myself so the games can't come quick enough, really. Are you getting a fairly free reign as to how you go about your duties on the field? Uh, yes, you know, I, I haven't spent like four years previous at Tannadice where I felt I was dictated to slightly and how I should play. You know, it's nice to come here and just be you know, told to go out and play and do your own thing, and uh, things are going well. McAllister and O'Neill have played major roles in Hibbs' improvement this season, but the best they say is yet to come. Yeah, I'm playing okay, but I, th I can play better. I mean, I think I was playing better last season. But I think we getting the five goals, uh, you get a wee bit more publicity. So I think the goals are, are like maybe making me think I'm playing a wee bit better than I am. Have we seen the best of Michael O'Neill in a Hibs shirt yet? Um, no, not by a long way. Um, I think um, probably. Next few games, I'll, you know, if I can keep my form up, I'll really uh, start to play, you know, better than I have been doing. I think I've been working really hard, but I, I feel that I can contribute more, you know, still. So hopefully, uh, then my form will gradually get better. The summer signings have been important, but Hibs aren't yet the finished article, and Alec Miller's hoping to use League Cup profits to further strengthen his side. Well, I'm sure the board of directors have never been short in coming forward in the past, uh, as far as finance is concerned, when they've got it. And I'm sure that uh, if they can give me uh, finance uh, after the League Cup final or before it uh, to maybe begin the market, then they'll do so.